US Ambassador Designate for Sri Lanka, Elizabeth Host, recently before the US Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs to get her confirmed. Her statement before the committee as well as the answers given to the questions raised by the uh, members of the Senate Committee is now can be found at www.senate.gov. According to her responses to questions raised, she would arrive here not as the ambassador of USA to look after its interests, but as the de facto governor of the USA to US colony called Sri Lanka to govern Sri Lanka according to the wishes of the USA. Why do we say so? According to Ambassador Host, Sri Lanka imposed a moratorium on foreign research vessels for a period of one year according to the demand of US government. This claim is established by unusual behavior of Sri Lankan government. The government first granted the permission for Chinese research vessel Xiang Yang Hong 3 to dock at Colombo port. Soon thereafter, Sri Lankan government imposed this moratorium indirectly cancelling the permission granted. However, the government recently allowed US and German research vessels to dock at Colombo port According to our foreign ministry, those ships were uh, permitted to dock at Colombo port for replenishments. However, Chinese ship was not permitted to dock even for replenishments. It means Sri Lankan government has maintained this moratorium not on a universal basis but on a selective basis. The, the research vessels belong to the US and its allies can dock at our Colombo port despite the moratorium, but not its enemies. If Sri Lanka wants to impose a moratorium on research vessels, it must be applicable universally, not on selective basis. Sri Lanka's selective behavior is explained by the uh, ambassador designate Elizabeth Horst at her statement to the Senate committee. It uh, simply says, America decides Sri Lanka's foreign policy. If we formulate our foreign policy according to the wishes and requirements of another country, Sri Lanka is not a sovereign state anymore. Our foreign ministry must immediately issue a statement explaining the remarks made by the ambassador designate. Further, ambassador host has told the committee that she intends to follow the footsteps of uh, incumbent ambassador Julie Chang. Everybody knows she is the main culprit for the anarchical situation in 2022. And if the ambassador designate is also to follow the footsteps of Julie Chang, we can't imagine the dreadful future in store for Sri Lanka.